Okay, Twin Flames. I'm gonna do a weekly. I skipped a week. Um, yeah, just had to, but I think I did. But yeah, and then for the personal dailies, I'm going to um, return those back to personal and keep those private, so. And just, yeah, I, anyway. So, we're going to do a weekly. I'm doing it Friday. Right now it is 118. I started at 117. I just did a sound test, though. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm talking about, so. <laughs> I just did a sound test first to make sure that, because I had all my things silent for the silent reading, but then yet um, the microphone was on. And then when I went to go record something, I went on for like an hour and something, but it's all divine. Um, and checked all the sound things, it was all up, and it was silent. It was recording the whole time, but silent. So yeah, just so you know, my stuff gets messed with. So. Hopefully, we'll um, be protected and shielded, and this reading will go smoothly, and if not, it's still divine, and God allowed it, so <laughs> either way, it's all for our benefit and growth, and our own personal enhancement and enjoyment, so we take everything, no matter what it is, um, we use it for our benefit, right, for, for spiritual growth and soul uh, elevation, elevation. I was gonna say evolution, but ele elevation wanted to come out too. So we'll th <laughs> they want to hang out together. E evolution and elevation. So um, yeah, I have just I have a um, quartz crystal here and a piece of shungite. And I noticed when I grab this, it's heart shaped. <laughs> I have my graphite nail polish just to, I usually do clear, but I was having fun doing my toes and stuff. So I've got red toes, you know, like, you know, um, traditional, like candy apple, um, devil, bad girl, woman of the night, red, <laughs> my toes. I like doing red on my toes. I usually don't put red on my nails, a little bit like, like a coral red or, you know, glittery orangey red or something, but. So this is graphite, Dollar Tree, Hollow Tree, right? So um, yeah, it's kind of, it's a little bit not too perfect because I, not that I'm into nails, but um, just so if you wondered, yeah, I, I do it myself. <laughs> and then, you know, once you take a shower bath, the stuff on, on the side comes off. So I'm not into like being all, yeah, I do it myself. Um, this is for protection shungite, okay. This is to, any bad energies that want to come in, this will absorb them, okay? And keep them bound so as to not be a disturbance. And it's good for the EMF for the <clears throat> computer and stuff. So, and then we have the clear crystal for just clarity and discernment. So, natural facets. So, I'm trying to get the shine on there. The shine, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so. Um, yeah, so we're just having fun doing nails and yeah, it was like, you know, it matches what I'm wearing. So. <laughs> Being girly, feeling that feminine, empress, creative, fun, flirty, um, self-love, self-care, nurturing. Yeah. Queen of Wands kind of vibe. So let's see what the cards have in store for the twinnies. Let's angle this down a little bit. So the date will be in the title. It's uh, like I said, it's um, it was 118 p.m. 118 in the afternoon here in uh, white blanket California I was going to say sunny California and blocked out sun California um, yeah Friday January 26th so I gotta I think this month has 31 so it'll go I think to the 2nd of February so 
So let's see what comes up here. Oh, oh slidey. Someone wants to slip out the back door, huh? Unnoticed. <laughs> so as not, yeah, to avoid some, well, we'll see if we'll, we're going to be able to do that. Do four for the angels. And earth. Seven of Swords on the bottom, Chariot on top, that's seven and seven. So this is not mastering your own energies, and this is Source Energy coming, coming in to help you master your energies. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to shuffle and then lay the spread. Strength ended up on the bottom. Oh, they want to be sticky, did they? Okay. <laughs> oh, divine masculine, there you are. of cups. So, circle, triangle, angular, and round, masculine and feminine. Okay, because it's the king of cups, so it's masculine, but it's of water, so. Page of Coins, Nine of Cups, Here, let me, uh, the Sun, ooh, beautiful, and remember before I started cutting it, strength was on the bottom, so, which represents Leo, which is ruled by the Sun, so. Oh. Oh, there's the chariot again, okay. On the side of the Divine Feminine. Right brain. So the Masculine has the Knight of Cups. So three of swords, okay, in connection to the Feminine. But remember, King of Cups on the bottom, okay. Sun at the foundation, that's beautiful. That's God, that's Spirit, that's Jesus, that's the ether, that's archangel, all the angels, that's the, okay, Gaia healed everyone, free, naked, no shame, no guilt, everything healed, purified, that's why we can be so free, no fear, just abandon all fear because, and, and this is just healing too, everything illumined, okay, when there's no more shadows that need illumination, now we can be naked and free because there's nothing that will harm us. And this is how the new earth is going to be. Nine of cups at the center. Power of prayer. So eight of wands and then queen of swords. Okay, so the masculine. <clears throat> Knight of Cups and Eight of Wands, so that's very much forward momentum in love, okay. So here, let me move these over here now. 
The King of Cups wants to keep hanging out on the bottom. Ooh, five of coins for the feminine. Okay. Oh, there's judgment. There's Archangel Gabriel. We love it. Oh, and I just... Anyway, um, I should have known, but yeah. Um, according, according to the research, okay, <laughs> the websites that I checked out on Archangel Gabriel... Okay, so feminine, five of coins, judgment, nine of wands. Okay, but you have the chariot here. We have page of coins. Okay, we'll get into it. So let me just, <clears throat> so Gabriel, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, so masculine, feminine versions of, it's just like the twin flames. Okay, so I'm thinking, well, what would be the feminine Gabriel? Is it just one name? Is it, okay, and oh. Like, those of you in, who know, or whatever, who study this, or... I, I don't say knowing, because it's just... I mean... I like not knowing. I, I'm, I'm really like enjoying that lately, and em embracing that, so... Um, it feels so much better. Just surrender and release, and... Um, yeah, Ganesha card that I got was surrender, number three, so... That was yesterday, so... Um, that's what I'm doing, yeah, so... Um, and I shared in a video when I went on a walk these synchronicities I was having and I saw a license plate that said HOPE, AH, H-O-P-E, space, and then A-H, HOPE, AH, okay. So today I'm looking up Archangel Gabriel, but so between Shasta, California and Sacramento, and I'm between that, uh, north of Sacramento, but south of um, Shasta, California, but east, okay. But between those two. And these, I mean, they all have the same information, okay, so I read like three or four different ones, and they all basically sa said that this is the location of, you know, the the etheric temple, I was going to say portal, but what they specifically said was the etheric temple. And this temple card keeps, okay. And then I got the bride offers, <laughs> offers herself card. And what was on the bottom was heaven. And I forgot what the top card was, but, um, it was something about the dance, spiral dance or something like that. So like ascension. Okay. So the et etheric temple of Gabriel, okay, that's the masculine name, I guess, and then Hope <laughs> is the feminine. Okay, so, and both I've seen twice in my dream, three times Archangel Gabriel, I should say Gabriel, Hope, but um, Gabriel came to me twice once I saw him, and then the feminine came to me once and I saw her, so, um, and I've described that in uh, videos before in the dream and all that. So, but anyway, because I want to focus on the reading, but I just want to say, because I see the judgment card in Archangel Gabriel and Hope, and I just researched that, okay, in the area that I'm in. And so it's like, no wonder all these synchronicities. Um, and when he first started coming in was when I went to the Bread and Roses thrift store, and there was just a white box, you know, those cardboard and I mentioned this in a video too, there's just a white cardboard like little jewelry box, it was a square one. Which is interesting because the earth 13, 4, okay, it was perfectly square, usually they're kind of rectangle and they're smaller, it was kind of a li little bit larger. Just those cheap little white cardboard, um, like that you get free when you buy some jewelry, okay, <clears throat> with the little piece of stuffing in there, right? And it had a red stamp, so it was, all <laughs> my son's having fun on, on yeah, trampoline town. So it, the square, the shape of it, too, was very important because it was perfectly square and it was white and it had a red, all red stamp of Archangel Gabriel had to be because it had a trumpet, okay? And that's when the first, when that first started trickling in and that's when I, that day I got this copper, I got three different copper things, a bracelet, it was just like a dollar, so it was a, a bracelet, a bookmark that had a, um, that said raven on it, had like little raven footprint and something else, there was like three copper things that I, so anyway, it was very interesting, okay, and Archangel Gabriel, copper, and the three, 
which is the Trinity, and the square, which is four, which is 13, reduced 13, the death card, which is also has to do with Archangel Gabriel, the Phoenix rising, um, you know, purification, okay, so the white and the red, the purification of the blood, the purification of the flesh, which is the red, okay, and the white is the, represents the purity, that pure white hot flame, okay, so let's start with the feminine Nine of Wands, okay, but remember Archangel Gabriel is also responsible for, okay, the reproductive organs, which is also why it's related to Scorpio because the sacral chakra and Scorpio, so there's a connection with, um, you know, the phoenix rising from the ashes, which is associated with either the judgment or the Scorpio card, depending on the different decks. Um... In this, I really see that golden, Christed energy being anchored through that pure, white, hot, diamond flame of Archangel Gabriel. This is the highest level of purity. And this is what anchors in and brings forth, brings in the Christ codes, okay? Through this pure white light of God brings in all this. It's like a, it looks like a cup, okay? Like a holy grail, a golden, okay? And there's, there's like one over here, one over here, one of, so it's like each one of us is a holy grail, a vessel, an empty, pure, golden vessel for God's light, okay? So we have to be embodying we have to be the embodiment of this heart-centered Christ consciousness represented by this gold vessel. It's empty and it can only be filled. You only receive your golden grail when you're emptied and then you get filled with this white light. This is all contains all the codes of the rainbow, of all the angels, all the activations, clearing out all the chakras, uh, upgrades, downloads, clearing out your DNA. This is what Archangel Gabriel does. He's the purifier. So with this nine of fire, okay, this is also nine of, you know, electricity, nine of energy, nine of spirit. So, <clears throat> um... Okay, nine months of being pregnant. Okay, the moon, Archangel Gabriel, the moon. So this is five of coins, lack mentality. Um, you know, but it's not because everything is energetic. See, with, with this nine of wands and judgment card, it's like everything is energy. You can bring forth as much energy as you want and wield it to do, or you can feel oppressed by it. It's like, make it work for you, okay? What what can I gain? How can this grow me no matter how painful or oppressive or whatever, how much it hurts, how alone I feel? How, how can I use it to purify myself? How can I use it to elevate, to grow to apply to my my soul's journey, my soul's evolution, my ascension path. How does this apply? Where does it fit in? How can it grow me? What can I learn from it? How does it apply and fit in with this path of self-mastery? The chariot card is all about the perfect balance of masculine and feminine. Black and white, light and dark. Black matter, white light. Feminine, negative, magnetic, masculine, positive, electric, contains the rainbow, contains the rainbow. Bringing spirit into form using the rainbow which is the all the angles or angels okay different facets different ways and different colors okay so we need to blend these two worlds together okay and be right here so if we need to step into here to get some info 
Okay, we need to be right here center where our heart is, okay? Got to step into the light, get some info, and then step into the dark a little bit and apply it and incorporate it. And that's what the darkness is for. So, you know, we think of chlorophyll and plants growing and all this, but we the, the darkness is very necessary. That's when all the, the starch and the roots and the plant absorbs the sugar and absorbs the water and so, so that's why you need to water at night or in the morning at night is best because that's when she's that's when she absorbs the water that's when she absorbs him that's kind of like you know in the evening when the sun starts getting going down you start getting more frisky she starts getting more right that's her time that's when he's like bang first first thing in the morning <laughs> Right? She's when the sun goes. So it's like we need that. Okay. The chlorophyll absorbs all that information, the codes from the light. Okay. And then when the sun goes down, okay, that's her time to incorporate all this information and, and integrate it. Okay. Merge it with her to activate things to, to grow, to manifest, to blossom, to emerge, to bring forth from the darkness into the light. But it needs to come down from the light into it. See, it's just back and forth. <clears throat> and it's a lot of power that you wield, Divine Feminine. Look at those two horses. They're just like, whoo, one wants to go one way, one, one wants to go to the other, and you got to just keep them going in a straight line so you can get somewhere. So that takes a lot of just fine-tuned muscle. I mean, like Bruce Lee kind of stuff. <laughs> you know, it's not just about the big and bulk. It's about the swiftness, the quick, quick twitch muscle fibers. Right? We got to be able to move quickly, assess our surroundings. Quickly, so when we do that through the eyes of the spirit, we're we're able to have that quickening. So we we master the flesh through the spirit, okay. But the spirit has to purify the flesh, okay. Uh, subdue the flesh, make the flesh submit to it. That process is. Painful and uncomfortable. Rashy, um, vomity, um, sleepless, um, tons of sleep. <laughs> you want to eat a lot of crap, uh, you can't eat anything. Um, you know how it goes. Ascension. <laughs> Page of coins. But look at how brand, brand new, fresh. Look at all that just vibrance, radiance. Like, like brand new growth too. Because see how much gold there is. That green and gold is very healing. So very new new body, new temple, grounding that newness into the earth. Really, okay, like this fresh, blooming, blossoming, okay? You're bringing your message to the world. And this is what's crowning for both twins. So it's just now, like, you're... You even still have your bathrobe on from being, you know, reborn, okay? And you're like, look, this golden seed that God gave me. Oh, my gosh, it's, I want to show it off to the world. I want to share it with the world because it's so awesome. Look what I've learned. It's just this big, plump, juicy golden seed that you just can't wait to just... It's like the sound of music, right? You just want to bring the sound of God's music to the world. Until your voice, you know, until your voice box doesn't work. Because <laughs> now it's like, even, I was just thinking like, the pain before, okay, this is like now, because the transcendence of the pain, it's like, the joy of this person, they're singing, they're running, they're probably like stepping on stone. They, they can't even feel all the thorns or whatever, craggly rocks or weeds or whatever they're stepping on their voice is getting hoarse they don't even care they might even be getting a sunburn they're just like they don't even care it's it's just like i 
how do I say it? It's like it's like having a near death experience, and you come back and you uh, um you fall down and face plant in the snow or whatever, or skin your knee, and you're just like, oh my god, it's just great to be alive. You just you feel that pain of having a skin knee, but it's the perspective is is just gratitude for life grateful to just be a part of this this exchange <clears throat> this is prayers answer this is harmony rhythm wholeness through being empty and receiving what God wants for you receiving from the highest perspective Okay, because in the foundation, sun card. I mean, power of, power of prayer at the heart, center of it. And we have, yeah, two nines. Okay, so this is beautiful. This is prayers being answered. I'm really getting like healing for the masculine and feminine with that page of coins crowning. And that gold and that green is just... And it's just, mm. and it's the page, so it's it's feminine, it's earth, it's earth of earth. So it's really that divine feminine child, okay? Because when we were all innocent children, we did let the feminine lead the way. We were in our hearts. We were imaginative, creative, free. We didn't know about shame and fear and all that stuff. So this is a return to that innocence. But it's a big process, okay? Especially, okay, feminine. Um, but with that chariot card, okay, connected to this twin flame thing, this is uh, part of, this is how it had to happen for you to master your energies and balance out. Okay? Because the Twin Flame journey is all about self-mastery. We show others how to be empowered. We show others self-empowerment, self-mastery, and healing through doing that ourselves. But not by ourselves. But directly with Source. Okay, that's why so many of us are alone and we had to cut everything and everyone out so and just be totally naked and just alone with our thoughts, meditation, prayer, tapping into source for healing, for answers, for clarity, for direction, for comfort, guidance, love, joy. How do I bring more joy, beauty? Okay. While I'm going through all this shit over here with Gabriel, I love you, but fuck, God. Oh. And I'm just right in it, right where the. I just, I knew it. I already knew it anyway, but. So. Okay, masculine. So the pressure of this lack mentality is just. I'm really just getting like, but you're not going to get more than you can bear because it's nine of wands with the five of coins. So it's like, it's getting to the point where it, this lack mentality, feeling left out, no resources. It's like getting to the point where you're like, okay, God, I can't take it anymore. Okay, angels, where are you? I know you're always here for me. I have faith. I trust. I believe I'm keeping, I'm staying positive. I'm, ke I'm keeping my vibration high. Yeah, love and light, dude. I know. Masculine. Honey boo boos. Three of swords. So this is just associated in love with pain. The heart knows not of pain. Pain is of the mind. I feel like I'm channeling my guy from the Twilight Zone or something. Journey into the unknown. <laughs> exactly. Journey into the unknown. Love is the unknown. 
for the Divine Masculine. <coughs> Excuse me. So, let's see here. Okay, so that's what the... So, the Divine Feminine, her connection with the Twin Flame... Now, they, they all both have crowning Page of Coins, Nine of Cups, the Sun card. So, prayers being answered for healing, rebirth, regeneration, revi revitalization, revival of the, the spirit, okay? Because we were doing a lot of healing body, flesh. Okay, so this is really, then it's like, oh, then we can let the spirit lead the way. Which is this judgment card really is showing how that white, pure, white flame, diamond, white light really anchors that golden Christ consciousness. Archangel Gabriel, okay, the connection with John the Baptist and um, uh, Mary's cousin. So Mary was pregnant with Jesus and her cousin Elizabeth, whatever they are in Hebrew. But anyway, the American names are English, okay. Um, so, okay, Jesus, the angels, they're, okay, John the Baptist, bringing the, the, that purity. So Archangel Gabriel has a big role in working with Jesus and John the Baptist, okay, with that rebirth, okay, so I'm really getting that. And you're not, okay, with the chariot and the page of pentacles and the sun card, okay, so... But you're never going to be given more than you can handle. And it's all for the goal of the chariot of you mastering. Okay, making sense of this world. Mastering your energies. So know that right when you get to the point where it's like, Oh, you guys, I know you're there. I just I can't take it anymore. And boom, and they'll come in. Okay. They'll give you some magical dream or synchronicity. that and They keep fueling you. Okay. It, it just, it's amazing. Just when you think it's like, wow, I, what else can you guys reveal to me? It's pretty, it, it, <laughs> that's how awesome they are. Okay. So know that you're, you can do this feminine. You're, you're strong. You lead the way. You're the warrior, the, the torch bearer. Okay. The, the, um, the light bearer, the one that bores the holes and brings, anchors him into the earth and brings that masculine energy, that light coat into form. Okay, so you have a big role. And, um, but it's okay. You have a team that you can rely on, especially when it gets overwhelming. Okay, go to your team. Pray. Okay. The angels are there, the Elohim, the angels, your star family, the galactics, the aliens. It's all the same thing, okay? It's just like all the different people who had different names for the diff different giants, okay? They're all the same, but depending on which tribe they came across, they gave them a different name because they, you know, you make up your own words for things. That's language. <laughs> so anyway, okay, feminine. You're going to be okay. I spent enough time on you now. <laughs> Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands, and Knight of Cups. So we have the Three of Swords for the Masculine. Okay, but remember we have the King of Cups on the bottom. So they're, you're feeling very much into your heart, Divine Masculine. That's why you're, you're starting to... Um, these thoughts about love, surrounding love, are coming up, okay? And they're, they're fucking with your head a little bit. They're kind of painful, okay? But it, it, but it's good. That means, okay, and look at the next top card was two of wands. There's twin flames right there. And that wanted to come out. Okay. Temperance, just like I'm saying. So temperance. The twin flames balancing that masculine and feminine, that fire in the water. Left brain, right brain. Temperance. Sagittarius also very much. Okay, the healer, the teacher, which twin flames, that's what you are. Hello, Twin Flames, Temperance. So, but see how these two of wands working together to serve a purpose, okay? And then two sticks working together to grasp one thing. And when you work together, then boom, then you create that third energy. And now you have, now you can hold another, <laughs> right? So... 
there's much work to be done for Twin Flames because there's much to be accomplished, okay? So it's about preparation. Purity is a big part of that and really releasing... Um, be, we have to be emptied out, you know? Destroyed and destructed and, and built back up the way God wants us to be built, okay? And we have to want that or else it... It's not going to happen, okay? We have to want this. The desire has to come from us, okay? This Nine of Wands, very big desire to be pure and not live this way anymore of this matrix 3D reality of that the, there's never enough anything time I don't have enough time I don't have enough the, I don't have, that's it's bullshit as we keep saying these things to us we keep manifesting that energy and keep aligning with that vibration so <clears throat> bullshit we <laughs> okay that's why positive affirmations the power of the word that it, words created the freaking earth man Okay, so we need to stop saying, oh, it's just a dream, oh, it's just a this, oh, it's just a that. This is the past life stuff coming from your subconscious. This is galactic messages from your star family, from the, the ancients, the Elohim, the angels, okay, the Anunnaki, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same thing. See, it, semantics and words are important, yes, but to a point to where we don't, we, we need to maintain the bigger picture at the same time and not get all trapped up in little details, so... Details are important, but, okay, maintain big picture perspective at all times. So that'll help you divine masculine with that three of swords. Um, focus on that spiritual woman that is that etheric match, your spiritual breath match, queen of swords. That's what's really going to help with this quickening is focusing on Your spiritual side, okay. Ether, okay. Very much spiritual, but feminine. It's water, so that really tapping into the right brain feminine energy is really, that, okay. Because she's the torchbearer, she leads the way. You have a right brain, okay. You have the two energy, okay. The ovaries or the testes is the feminine two energy. So that's really going to help with this quickening, okay. And with quickening, that means, um, understanding what God's trying to tell you quicker and implementing that and integrating that more quickly as well. So, okay, so it's a lot of um, feminine energy coming in as guidance, okay, on your spiritual path here. Because here's the Knight of Cups, so it's kind of like the Queen of Swords. It's very masculine because the swords is ether, is air, but it's queen, it's water. So it's it's balancing, again, just like that temperance, okay, chariot. Balancing the masculine and feminine. Yeah, and here's here's the sun card, like the spirit, nine of cups, or is like nine nine months of it's just nine and nine and judgment archangel with this it's just like I'm getting like birth and babies maybe for some of you guys. <laughs> um yeah, so Knight of Cups again. So here's fire. Okay, but it's of water. So it's masculine. There's a masculine, passionate, electric hard drive um drive driving this. <laughs> okay, but it's it's he's receiving the messages. He's more receptive. And see the ball on his head, okay? Receiving the wisdom from the Divine Feminine. Letting it flow into him and through him and out. Knowing that you're oceanic. Your actions are who you are and you're connected to all that is. So, very much, see, masculine. You still get to maintain your masculinity. Swords, air, ether. Okay, the night, fire, masculine, air and fire, masculine, but this water of the, of the cups and the queen is really what's going to help you 
um, gain some momentum, okay, and with this momentum it will bring greater motivation, with greater motivation brings greater confidence, yeah, so I'm really getting the, the feminine energy, if you're surrendered to and open to receiving the feminine guidance, it's going to help boost and amplify your masculine, okay, because it's going to get rid of any distortions, it's going to help you integrate those codes, okay, because that's what she does, the, the right brain, that's what she does, that's what the two does, the testes, the ovaries, the two, she anchors him. So if you let your feminine energy bring in those codes from Father God, Source Creator, it's going to help boost your masculine energy, if that makes sense. So it's like you have to get into your feminine, open, receptive vibration and slow down a little bit. Okay, slow down the mental thoughts of pain and love and stuff and just tune into the watery flow, okay? Maybe literally get around someone, take a bath, get a, a like, and set it up, like, don't just, like, you know, have your rock music playing in the background, like, or any music, really, if you get just, I, I like to, well, because I can hear traffic, and but, you know, that's why I like to take a bath later at night, and it's quieter, but have, light a candle, light some incense, light some, just have a, you know, a plant in there with a little fountain, something, okay, that really just takes you out of the matrix and in, into the flow of her. Unlocks you, you know, a little bit. And it's not in front of anyone, so you don't have to worry about your masculinity. This is private. This is just you and God, Source Creator, but you have to get more into, you're being asked to get more into that feminine energy in order to anchor the information those light codes from Father, because the Sun card's in the foundation, okay? So there, there's definitely healing information coming in. Purity, rebirth, um, freedom from guilt, shame, fear, uh, abandonment, this oppression of being left out, isolated, no resources, being very limited, constrained. Now there's this big energy blossoming but chariot card for the feminine, okay? The sun card is really, for the masculine, going to bring in that quickening, quick fire masculine energy. Because eight is very swift. And it could represent messages, surprises, so it could come out of nowhere. So you know, for to really anchor this. This is information to help you on your path. So to really receive these messages clearly, get into that feminine, open, receptive, quiet, slow down, surrendered state. Okay? <clears throat> and I really feel like these messages, these light codes, these these are really gonna be these ones specifically that are coming in now are going to you have to get in your feminine surrendered receptive mode in order to receive them but then when you receive them they're going to be boosts to activate the masculine the divine masculine okay regenerate some of the divine masculine codes and templates But you have to let the feminine lead the way. That's very important. If you want to do that, that's that's the process. So that's what they're showing here. <clears throat> so you have to get out of your head about your heart. <laughs> and really just get into your heart. Get out of your head about your heart. Get out of your head about it. Because maybe the masculine, if you think more logically about love, then it's not so painful. But actually, no, that's going to reverse on you. The thing that you're doing that's not enhancing your spiritual growth 
is not going to serve you anymore. It's going to reverse on you. Whereas before, maybe you could escape into this deal for a while and come out and then... No, it's, it's not going to be... Nope. We can't do the old way. It's going to... It's Yeah, I just got... It's going to reverse on you. So if you try to do the same old thing, it's going to reverse on you. You're being pushed to be in your feminine receiving... Because that's the only way to the next step of the, the masculine growth within the masculine, okay? And I know for some of you that's going to be really difficult to do. Maybe there's a lot of pain associated with feminine energy, okay? With exes, um, mother, whatever, okay? Um sister okay so <clears throat> daughter whatever it feminine any female relationships that you've had okay and not just from this life so two of coins got the two of co two of coins come on come on <laughs> Okay, that's physical, tangible union, yo. All right. Three of cups behind it. That's celebration. Ten of wands, right? Boom. Throwing it down. Truce. I surrender. Ten of wands. Celebrate. Physical, tangible union. You get a ring and you get a ring. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right. Sing that song from your heart. I love you all. Peace be upon you all. Peace be with you. Peace inside of you, all around you. Just eat it up, swallow it, rub it all over your body. Okay. <laughs> See you guys next time. Doinkers! <laughs>